St. Paul's new mayor elect is a man we profiled in 1998 when he was a 20 year old college student. Why do we allow our youth to be overcome by drugs, gangs, violence, and oppression? Why do we allow young boys to overpower old women and take their possessions? Will the real black man please take a stand? That was Melvin Carter III back in 1998, also along with his father, St. Paul Police Sergeant Melvin Carter Jr., and grandfather, jazz musician Melvin Carter Sr., trying to help young men of color. 19 years later, he won a sweeping victory, winning 51% of the vote on the very first ballot against nine other candidates in a ranked choice election. And Mayor-elect Melvin Carter of St. Paul joins us. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Right. Thanks for having me in. And we had to, we, I couldn't resist putting that little clip of you there. <laughs> I guess your, your kids have given you a hard time. Yes. I think you look great. Yeah, well, I appreciate <laughs> all right. that. Um, let me ask you, first of all, your victory was extraordinary. Uh, were you really expecting to win 51% of the vote? Because certainly, we, uh, we in the media, we're not expecting you to win right. that quickly. Right. Uh, neither were we. We were really pleasantly surprised. My wife and I t called our kids to the di dinner, dinner table uh, the night before Election Day to just remind them. We weren't expecting to know anything for sure on Election Day. Uh, so when we did, they, they actually had questions for us. They said, wait, I thought we, didn't, we weren't going to know. <laughs> and so we were excited uh, and really appreciative of the show of support that we got from uh, St. Paul voters. Uh, and it gave us an opportunity to get right to work. Okay. You, of all the candidates in St. Paul, you had by far the most impressive list of endorsements including Governor Dayton and also Senator Al Franken. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to ask you quickly your thoughts about Senator Franken, who is a big supporter of yours. Mm -hmm. Do you think he should resign in the wake of these allegations? You know, these allegations are really disappointing uh, and they're heartbreaking. Uh, Senator Franken is someone who, as you mentioned, has been a supporter of mine uh, and is somebody who has, I've worked closely with when I was on the city council and working for the governor. Uh, I think it points to a broader, especially in the context of uh, the representatives you just had on, it, po it definitely points to a broader culture that we have to eliminate uh, in the state government and the federal government. We have to make sure that that's not the case uh, in the city government. Uh, I think that's a decision for him, uh, but I want to work with every person in our city, every person in our state to make sure that that we're eliminating that culture that says that it's okay to disrespect women. All right. Uh, we are getting a few details just into our newsroom about a, a homicide that occurred within the past 24 hours mm -hmm. uh, on the 900 block of St. Paul. This would make the 21st homicide mm -hmm. of the year in St. Paul, which is an uptick. There has been sort of an uptick in, in very violent incidents. Your thoughts about that? Yeah, that we've had, we've definitely seen an uptick this year. I've been working closely with Chief Axtell to monitor those things. Uh, we had a, a shooting last night, uh, which is devastating. Uh, I'm appreciative of the swift work of the St. Paul Police Department uh, to get a, cust a, a suspect into custody. Uh, and, you know, our whole perspective from the campaign has been that, you know, making sure that St. Paul is safe and eliminating this type of violence in our city really requires going upstream and really addressing the core challenges. I'm looking forward to working with the chief but also working with our, park, our parks, our recreation centers, our schools to make sure that we are not just building our capacity to respond after an emergency, but really intentionally connecting everybody in our city to the prosperity of our St. Of St. Paul. Okay. Um, your father, uh, Melvin Carter Jr., the sergeant, uh, mm -hmm. well-known police officer. He was the face of, yes. public face of the police department for many years. He was the PIO. I interviewed him many times. Yes, I remember that. Um, I, I do want to ask you, um, you were the target of, of a smear uh, mm -hmm. alleging that, that an uptick in gun violence uh, was linked to an unrelated robbery of some guns in your home. How do you juggle that as, some, as a son of somebody who spent his entire life devoted to the St. Paul Police Department and a pretty base attack by all accounts mm -hmm. on your integrity from the St. Paul Police Federation, the union? Yeah, that, that too was very disappointing. It was a hard moment, you know, that, that, that attack kind of made its way into the conversations that my children were having at school and the conversations that my wife was having at work. Uh, and, you know, I'm really proud and appreciative of St. Paul voters from all over the city and folks who came out and said, you know, we're gonna volunteer, we're gonna kind of stand up to this and say, this is not the type of politics that we're gonna accept in St. Paul. I've said since day one, though, that it's, this isn't indicative just of a feud between me and the police federation. 
uh, it's indicative of exactly uh, what we need to change, the culture of policing that we need to change in our community. We wrapped our campaign around, uh, among other things, a community first policing plan that says we have to really invest to restore the trust that exists between our neighbors uh, and our police officers. That's critical to maintaining public safety, our ability to know that we're all on the same team. That's something that I'm going to do very proactively and very intentionally. Uh, and I think that attack that they kind of levied against me uh, really shows exactly why that's so critical. All right, well, Mayor-elect Carter, you're kind enough to agree to join us at 11 o'clock right after yes. this show on Facebook Live. Go to our WCCO.com Facebook page, like us, and then you can join the conversation. It will continue with uh, Mayor-elect Melvin Carter at 11 o'clock on Facebook Live. Thank Indeed. you so much for coming in. Thanks for having right. me on. All right.